How's it going? Officer Ferruli, Rochelle Park. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? You have the insurance? Alright. Everything alright tonight, man? Yeah, man. Just heading home. Yeah? From where? Uh, from my friend's house. Where's that at? Uh, Elmwood Park. Alright. So we're here to shut the car off real quick? Shut the, it off? Yeah, shut the car off. You hop on out. Hop on out? Yep. I'm just gonna stay on the sidewalk so we can talk. So where are you coming from tonight, sir? Uh, just my friend's house. Okay, where's your friend? Alfred Park. Elmwood Park. Where's Elmwood, Elmwood Park? Park? Yeah. Okay. What time did you leave your friend's house? Excuse me? What time did you leave your friend's house? 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay. What'd you do while you were there? Just hang out. Hang out? Yeah. Okay. Tired? I mean, yeah, it's 3 in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Did you fall asleep at the light? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, someone said that you were sitting there for a little bit. No, no. it's no? the light. Okay. Do you have anything to drink while you are at your friend's house? No. Nothing to drink? No. Okay. So we just want to make sure you're okay to drive or anything else? I'm fine. Okay. I, I literally live down the block. Where do you live? Yeah. In your house for sale? Yes, it is. That's, yeah. that's, uh, I'm recently. buying a new one on... Uh... All right. Here's what we'll do. This is uh, pretty even right here. What have you do? Just put your feet together and just keep your hands down at your side. All right. I see you wear glasses. Do you have astigmatism or? I do have astigmatism. You yeah. do have astigmatism. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to take them off? Yeah. Can you take them off? Yeah. Let's see. So what I want you to do with your eyes and your eyes only, mm -hmm. just follow the tip of my finger. Right. Do not move your head. Follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Follow. The flashlight, I'm sorry, it's like in my face. So. True. Continue to follow the tip of my finger. There, relax. Kill your front lights. No, kill your front lights. Did you have any issues following the tip of my finger with the, the lights? No. I mean, okay. when the light flashed right in front of my eye, yeah. But other Just than the that, flashlight? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Do you have any issues with uh, your legs, your knees, any part of your lower extremities? No. Anything would prevent you from doing a walking test? No, that's fine. Okay. So here's what uh, we're going to do next. This is called the walk and turn test. All right, I'm going to explain the instructions to you and I'll demonstrate. 
then you'll demonstrate the test for me, okay? So what we're gonna do first, is have you take a couple steps back. So what I want you to do, I want you to pretend there's a line in front of you. I want you to put your left foot on the line, place your right foot in front of it with your right heel, touching your left toe. You're gonna keep your hands at your side. All done? I didn't tell you to begin. Oh, sorry. No, you're gonna to listen to the instructions okay. and then I'll demonstrate and then you'll, okay. you'll demonstrate, okay? So I want you to get in this position with your left foot on that imaginary line and your right foot in front of your left foot. You're gonna be in a heel to tell manner. Your hands are gonna be down at your sides. All right? You're not gonna begin until I tell you to do so. You understand so far? Sure. Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps on that line, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got you. Okay. And return nine to heel to toe steps, all right? On this ninth step, you're gonna turn around, taking a series of small steps so you're back in that imaginary line. All right. And then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, okay. you got out of the starting position again. I need you to get back in that no, starting no, no. position. Well, you asked me to put my hands out, right? I didn't say anything about keeping your hands out. Okay. All right, I asked you to stay in the starting position. All right. While walking, you're gonna watch your feet at all times. Keep your arms at your side and count your steps out loud. Okay. Once you begin, do not stop until the test is completed. All right. Do you understand the test? All right. Yeah. Can you get back in the starting position with your feet heel to toe? No. Hands at your side. All right. Do you understand the test? Nine in front, turn back around. Yes. Okay. Okay. You may begin the test. Okay. One, two, not three. heel to toe. Four, Steps five, off line. Not heel to. Seven. Eight. Not heel to. Forward. You told me you understood the test. You told me nine heel. I don't know what to do after nine. Keep forward. Did you understand the instructions when I read them to you? I mean, you said yes. I mean, nine. Okay, you told me to count to nine, right? Okay. Keep forward. Are you done with the test? You told me to count to nine and turn forward. Do you need me to keep counting till ten? Raises his arms. Doesn't count out loud. <clears throat> Done. Too many steps. Done. Okay. All right, we're gonna do one more test. This is the one leg stand test. Do you have any? Balance issues? Again, any problems with your lower extremities that would prevent you from balancing on one foot? I don't. Okay. All right, we're gonna get in the starting position, which is just your feet together, heels and toes even. All right, hands down to your sides again. All right. Once again, do not begin the test until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? Okay. When I tell you to, I want you to raise one leg, either leg, approximately six inches off the ground your foot parallel to the ground. Keep both legs straight and keep your eyes on the elevated foot. So I'm gonna demonstrate. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Okay. 1,001. Continue. 1, oh, I didn't tell you to begin the test, sir. I'm sorry. I still have to read the instructions. Okay. okay. While holding that position, count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so forth until told to stop. Do you understand the instructions? 
You want me to keep counting until you tell me to stop? Until I tell you to stop. Gotcha. Okay. I need you in the you starting. Want me to look down at my toe, count until you tell me to stop. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, I just need you in the starting position with your hands at your side, not in your pockets. Okay. Right. Do you have a 30 second? Yeah, okay. Just use your watch. Just let me know when you're ready. Just keep your hands at your side. Good. A couple seconds, yeah. Normally I'd have a watch. I don't have one on tonight. You're all good, man. It's fine. Just let me know. All right. Good. All right. Good. Hands to your side. Yep. All right. You may begin the test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, you right. can stop. Okay. Right. And you had nothing to drink tonight? No. Do me a favor, just place your hands behind your back. Why? Because you're under arrest. Come on, man. why? Driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs. What do you mean? Did I just pass the test? No. Fuck, I'm literally like two blocks away from my house. Really, guys? Listen, we're gonna go to the back car over there. Of course you are. Okay. You smell like alcohol, you failed the test. How did I feel the test? Can you explain that to me, please? Everything will be written in the report. I just literally, you told me to step outside. Let's go go outside. Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets? Anything that's going to hurt me, poke me, stick me? Anything uh, like that? My cell phone, I don't, I mean, no, my cell phone's in the car. No, nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Glasses? Nope. Well, yeah, my glasses, yeah. No. All right, sir, have a seat. What's gonna happen to the car? Uh, it's gonna have to get towed for the next 12 hours. Yeah. Stay with him. See if he's got anything in the car. Did you already call for a tow or no? I got his wallet and keys, the, the, uh, I got his wallet and phone. The keys are on the front seat. You have a house key on it? Were your house keys on the, the car too? Yes, sir. Uh, do you mind just grabbing yeah. them and taking the fob off?
So I got your phone, your wallet, and the house keys, all right? All right, just sit with this. I'll start it inside. Six, 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 six. One adult male, this location at headquarters, starting 21428.1. Hey, if I have his uh, ID, I can bring that in. NCIC alert. Okay. That car is open for it. Six X arriving two one four two eight point nine. Oh four fourteen. And see I see alert. Smells of alcohol. I'm just speaking in the body. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, just uh, let's step up there. So we got some paperwork to do. Uh, we got to provide samples and then get you out of here, okay? Make a second left. Stop where the light switches are. Right here. Right here. Yep. Again, you have no weapons, nothing, anything crazy like that. No, no, no. Just uh, face the wall. Any type of jewelry on besides the necklace and the wrist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the glass. 
passes with. Tell you to just place your hand on the wall. Hands on the wall? Yeah. Okay. Right hand first. Okay. Right here. Take off the watch and the wristbands. Uh, hand them to me, please. So, so hand them to me, please. Oh, uh, both? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. No. The watch and oh. the wristband. Sorry, that you wanted me. Okay. Right, finger right there. All right, the belt as well. You have a layer on underneath, just to uh, lose the jacket too. I'm sorry? The jacket has strings. Strings can't go anywhere. off? Yep. Uh, lose the shoes. You can have a seat in there, last thing. Is just you, gotta, you gotta flip your, shoe, your socks inside out, just so I know it's, there's nothing in there. You can take them off and... Yeah, you can have a seat and do that. Like I said, there's some paperwork. We gotta do samples. Quicker we get in, quicker we get out, alright? We got? Yeah, and the other one. Yeah, as long as there's nothing in there, you can flip them back the right way. We just gotta make sure there's nothing inside. Okay. Alright, just give me a couple of minutes. I gotta get the paperwork. We'll get started. We'll get you out of here, okay? So is it the seventh or the eighth? Maria, in the cat, we're going to start observation 425.
Well, this is the student of Jersey warning statement. Or is just advising your rights. Before you're asked any questions, you must be advised of your constitutional rights. Number one, your constitutional rights are remain silent. Do you understand that? I do. Uh, for all of them, if, if you do a, a yes or yes. Number two, and then you say it can be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Right? Yes. Number three, you have the right to the presence of an attorney during the questioning. Do you understand that? Right? Yes. Number four, if you cannot afford an attorney, it will be appointed for you prior to any questioning if you so desire. Do you understand that? Right? I do. Yes. Number five, you have a continuing right to exercise the above constitutional rights at any time during question. Do you understand that? Right? Yes. <clears throat> this portion, uh, your signature just indicates these are the answers you gave. And then, here. Yep, signature there. Then, your printed name. So you, Jorge Martinez, have read the above statement of your rights and have read aloud to you to understand what your rights are. Uh, you're now going to answer questions without the presence of an attorney, no promises or threats that are made to you, and no pressure or coercion of any kind that you use against you. Correct, yes. So, one more signature, and Officer Furley and I will sign Yep. Officer Furley and I will sign as a witness. Two sheets. Almost there. It's, it's on a big board, unfortunately. This is this is a drinking and driving question and answer form. Okay. Um, same thing. Series of questions. Okay. Say your real initial day. Over oh, yeah. Uh, what time is it? 4.30. 4.30. Uh, Jorge, what Here, 427. Uh, tonight, what kind of alcoholic drinks do you have? No. So, the rest of these follow up questions are about alcoholic drinks you had, but you're indicating none? Nope. Uh, when did you last eat? What time is it? About 4.30. Um, 9, 10 o'clock, maybe? Um, 10 o'clock. Uh, what did you eat? Um, uh, pad thai. You've never had that, how was that? Just pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've had it in Thailand. It's excellent. <clears throat> this. 
four hundred. Two minutes. <coughs> okay. This is the Attorney General standard statement. It is a very long, drawn out statement, but I have to read it in its entirety. Uh, at the end of it, I'm going to ask you for a simple uh, answer like the warning statement. So it would be yes. yes or no. But anything other than that is, I have to annotate that. Sure. So, uh, number one, you've been arrested for driving while intoxicated, NJSA 394 50. Number two, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol content. Number three, your record of the taking of the breath samples, including the test results, will be made. Upon your request, a copy of that record will be made available to you. Number four, after you've provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right, at your own expense, to have a person or a physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, or urine for independent testing. Number five, if you refuse to provide samples of your breath, you will be issued a separate summons for the refusal. The court may find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. Number six, if a court finds you guilty of the refusal, you will be subject to various penalties, including a license, revocation of up to 20 years, a fine of up to $2,000, installation of a mission interlock, and referral to an intoxicated driver resource center. These penalties may be in addition to penalties imposed by the court for any other offense of which you are found guilty. Seven, you have no legal right to have an attorney, physician, or anyone else present for the purpose of taking the breath samples. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay giving samples of your breath. Number eight, any response from you that is ambiguous or conditional in any respect to my request that you provide breath samples will be treated as a refusal to submit to breath testing. Even if you agree to take the test, but then do not follow my instructions, do not properly perform the test, or do not provide sufficient breath samples, I will charge you with refusal to submit to breath testing. Number nine, I repeat, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit samples of your breath? No. If the arrested person does not respond or gives any ambiguous or conditional answer short, I will read the following. Your answer is not acceptable. The law requires that you submit samples of your breath for breath testing. If you do not answer or answer with anything other than, quote, yes, unquote, I will charge you with refusal. Now I ask you again, will you submit the breath? Will you submit the breath test? No. Okay. Uh, what's the time now? <coughs> oh four thirty-five. Okay. So uh, who would be able to come pick you up? So we can't release you. On your own from here, we would have to have someone come and pick you up. That's they would assign liability for you for the next 12 hours. That's fine. I'm on my way. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Yesenia. Y-E-S-E-N-I-A. Same last name. Yep. So, we're about halfway through uh, this portion. After this, I have to run the machine and I think you refused. That's all right. And then once that, we'll get your paperwork squared away and we'll call uh, the assembly loop. Is she going to be up by now or? I mean, I'm hoping it's pretty late. Okay. So you may have to take a couple of stabs out of it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, other than that, just, uh, we just got to be doing this observation. Sure. No problem. Thank you. Um, for, for this, normally we do tattoos. Uh, it's just a two. It's three. Uh, one, two, three, four are visible. I have a couple more, but if you're looking at the visible ones, it's fine. Uh, three on the right arm, mm -hmm. two, uh, one on the left arm. One, two,
thing to alcohol, just like the set the cage in the car is done. So sure. you walk out of the car and stuff. That's not that not anything personal like yet. We're close to home. I've had people in drivers. Unfortunately it is in the same area where you can really can't take a chance. Sure. That's okay. So uh probably like to keep nine minutes. You might have stayed here just yeah. continue an observation. And I'll start the machine. So forty six then? Uh, 45 would be 10 minutes. Yeah, you are.
Do you guys get those for breast? Um, These? Yeah. yeah. Every October we wear them. So you get them from the department or you guys like fill them out yourselves? The uniform store. They, they do it for us. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we have like plain ones, but for October we... we yeah, we just got an email for the PV league that we coach for. And they're like, oh, bring something pink. I'm like... Yeah, I don't know what to do. It's a whole lot. Everybody's doing yeah. pink. I'm like maybe like a headband or some socks. I don't know. So just yeah, anything. You know, pink's just the color. You can just do yeah. whatever. No, I, but yeah, these uh, these I started a couple years. Yeah, yeah. They started a couple years ago, so now every October we wear them. No, they're helpful. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty cool. Yeah. And then in November we just yeah rip them off. And then you start with the beards, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that's right. I forgot about yeah. that. Well, we 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 allow we beards anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah, we allow me around. Yeah. Just, oh, you do? You guys I, do? I just can't grow them. <laughs> I mean, you can tell. I mean, you, you yeah. got I, mean, I can't, either, I can't so. do that. So. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't grow anything. Yeah. So, clean shaven is the way to go for me. I'm there with you, but I, I try. <laughs> so, it's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, we, we allow me around. So, a lot of places are, it's, it's like a generational thing. Like, the, yeah. back in the day, it used to be like just clean cut. Some departments still do it that way. State police yeah. do it that way. Yeah, yeah. No facial hair, state police, you know. But there's no reason for us not to. I mean, it doesn't make you better or worse at your job, you know. It doesn't. So, so. <clears throat> but yeah, every October. Dirty. So, pink everything all month. Think one more minute. Get the machine going. Get the refusals. Is it 45 or 46? 45 is 20, but continue to observe first. Yeah. What did you say you did again? I'm sorry? For work? What did you do? Um, I work for a tour operator. It's called Smart Tours. Um, I mean, it's really making it like a long story short. We just do um, tours worldwide. So we oh, like a travel? Yeah, okay. So yeah, South Africa, Europe, whatever. We have tours. You guys sign up. It must be easy for you guys to tour, right? I'm sorry? It must be easy for you to tour then because you got the inside it, connection. Right? It is. That's yeah, why you said you went to Thailand? Oh, Thailand was great. Yeah, I've been there. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful country. Um, not as COVID time sucked. <laughs> yeah. It was not a great time for the industry, but um, no, we're rebounding. We're Good. doing well. So. Yeah. It's a couple of years gone now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean. We're pretty much all back to normal. I mean, here and there, you got. Yeah. People still get a little freaked out. Yeah. About everything, but. But. Yeah. yeah. There's the, I, I traveled. I had no problem. You know. Yeah. And. Other countries, you know, you see people just not even wear a mask or anything. It's not even like it happened. Yeah, there's know? a lot of countries that depend on tourism. Yeah. Dollars, so they, they, don't, they don't want to be difficult. Exactly. Yeah. So that's all their revenue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not Thailand, though. I mean, they're pretty much doing their own thing. It's a big part of the revenue. Is it? So, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I figured, like, they were, like, up and running on their own. Like, you know, didn't no, I mean, care about tourism, yeah. They do, but they make big dollars. Like, Koh Samui, mm. Phuket. I mean, yeah, people go and they spend a lot of a lot of dollars there. So yeah. hey, there's a lot of history there. So there is, yeah. I heard it's I heard it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the food, top notch. So. Asia is just a long flight away, it you is. know. So and if you're not doing like first tough. class, which I didn't do, it's <laughs> you're, you're gonna wake up with a sore back, sore feet, 
the whole night. You might as well just knock yeah. out and wake yeah. up when you're there. How long is the flight? It's 16 hours, depending if you're not connecting, it could be pretty long, yeah. Or you could connect in Hong Kong and then- I was about just, to say, I don't even yeah. know where to connect because yeah. it's like so <laughs> far away. Japan's on the bucket list. Me too. Never been there yet, but it's on the bucket list, so, yeah. China too. I mean, you know, I don't know how travel is in that side of the world. You know, there's a lot of places that I'd like to go, but yeah. I don't know how travel, like, we're, like, you know, anybody could go anywhere pretty much, but like, I don't know. The tourists, I feel like certain places, it's like a little harder. Yeah, you know? China just reopened. I mean, okay, people that too, yeah. yeah. People haven't been there for a while. My company's not doing it until next year. So it's probably the safer bet, yeah. 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 So Japan, Japan's on the bucket list. Uh, Europe's nice. Yeah. Europe's very nice. Yeah, I've done the Rhine River, which is really great. You oh, yeah? Like Amsterdam, do all your way down to France. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, it's a good time. Yeah. I haven't been to... I didn't go to England, didn't go to Ireland. London is Missed out on Ozia. If I ever won the lottery, I'm buying a house in London. Like, like every, everywhere is like just trains. So yeah. easy to get around yeah, country yeah. to country. Yeah. You go like England, France, Italy, all in Germany Germany one day and then you yeah. get, it's crazy. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Not like here. No. Well, like <coughs> the countries there, <coughs> excuse me, countries there are like states here i guess like it's easy to get to for like, sure yeah and we have a lot to see here but a lot of americans don't have passports which is a problem yeah so i mean yeah that's an issue in itself but, yeah i mean i don't even think my parents used to travel back in the day i don't even think they needed them back then like i don't, I don't Probably, think they had them yeah, like they went on a cruise like i don't think they needed it yeah no yeah today you need like a passport a license like a sign certificate that you're not you're, yeah yeah <laughs> The first time I ever left, I went to Canada. Okay. So, Easy enough. I was like petrified. I was like, I need to get my passport expedited. I don't know. And it turns out they, they like glanced at it and then they gave it back yeah, to me. It was so it, easy. It'll care, yeah. It's just like America over there. It's yeah. just it's smaller and cleaner. Uh, yeah. And a lot of more people speak French. That's so. true. <laughs> Everything's in French over there. It was nice though. Yeah. To Toronto. Um, where else? Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Uh, yeah. Quebec. Quebec was really Yeah, I haven't gone there yet. If you see the old city, it still looks like back in yeah. the Yeah. Yeah, you can do the old city. It's like super European. It's going to feel European, so, yeah. It's like, <clears throat> well, they were part of the, were they part of the UK for a little while? I mean, historically. Before they said, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're underneath the monarchy. Yeah, they're still yeah. a commonwealth. So, yeah, they still yeah. like, yeah. And the money system of it is weird. Like, yeah. they just round up or round down. It's They don't have pennies. No, they don't. <laughs> like they, they have, like, the big $2 coins, and then the dollar coins are strange. Yeah. Just like the Euros. The Euros have a bunch of coins. <laughs> but they take American money anyway over there. Oh. In Toronto, they do. Everyone so. takes American. Who wouldn't? That's what I've learned. Everywhere yeah. except American money. Yeah. I don't know why. You know? There's some countries that work more than ours. Better exchange rate. Yeah, it's true, too. I mean, Ecuador takes the dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta do Central America soon, like Costa, Costa Rica. Rica and stuff. Yeah. Costa Rica, very nice. I heard it's like very, very nice. it's a very good trip over there. Yeah, they don't even have a standing army. Really? Yeah, they're very calm. They they take the dollar, so you don't have to exchange your money. Okay. You can just go with the U.S. dollar, and you're fine. I didn't know that Canada took U.S. money at first, so I just played it safe and I trans I exchanged a lot of money anyway. But I ended up bringing most of it back, and then I transferred it over because like. At the time, a dollar American was a dollar twenty in Canadian, so like you get an extra twenty cents. So like, mm -hmm. take it a hundred, you transfer a hundred dollars, you get a hundred twenty Canadian. Yep. So, but everything's, it's it all balances out anyway. Yeah. So it's not like you're getting a deal. Yeah. You know. So. I mean, in Thailand, you can literally get a deal. Like, do they take American money? They do, but I mean, I think right now the exchange rate is like every thirty dollars is like one, you know, yeah. <laughs> It's ridiculous. You can go through like nothing. That's all right. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, traveling's fun. I didn't do it till I was older, so it's fun. Yeah. A lot of places to, on the bucket list, but I'll get there one day.
Just wrapping up a couple paperwork things and then uh, see if I can get your ride here. Where do I have to pick up my car? Hmm? Where do I have to pick up my car? It got towed to, no, we'll give you all the paperwork for that and everything. <clears throat> you can't get it for 12 hours though. So, 4 p.m. tomorrow. So you come here first. He'll, we'll explain this to you again, but come here first. You get what's called a tow release. It's a piece of paper authorizing the tow company to release your car. And you're not able to get that until 4 p.m. So we'll explain that to okay. you again. Time now is 4.55. We'll see if we'll submit it so we can stop the observation. I'll get a new one. Kind of yeah, that's what you're for. Uh, so paperwork at this point is done. We'll collect your stuff. We'll call your wife and then get you out of here. She's got a sign for you. Yes, it makes a no difference for anything else in there. Well, uh, as soon as she's here, we'll get you out, get your stuff, and get you out of your way, okay? Let me shut this. Yeah. Can I go by one camera?